In this video, let's have a look at how to build your list using Thrive Quiz Builder part one. In this part, we'll look at the opt-in gate. To get here, we go to the Thrive Quiz Builder dashboard and we go into managing our quiz. And here in the quiz structure, you can see we can add an opt-in gate. When I click this, you'll see that the opt-in gate is inserted between the questions and the results page. This is why we call it a gate. Basically, once someone finishes the quiz, they have to pass through this gate by opting in before they can get to the results page. When we click on manage, here you will also see this is also AB testable, which is why we see this familiar interface. We click on design to create this opt-in gate. Every quiz template comes with a default design for the opt-in gate. So here you can see it has a title, it has some text, and an opt-in form and it also has a skip this step link which I will explain in a second. All the text here of course can be just clicked to edit and change it. Here we can have a text that says something like to see your results simply enter your email address below for example. And we can click on the opt-in form itself and click on connect with service to connect this to a mailing list. I'll create a new connection here. We'll choose the API type connection. And here we can choose from all of the services that we have set up. So for example, Aweber, you can see it, it shows me my Aweber lists. So I can choose where they will be added and I can add tags. And when I save this, I get to the next screen where I can have name, email, and phone number fields. I can change labels and do such things. And then I save this. And there we go. Now, when someone signs up here, they will be passed to the results page and they will be added to the mailing list I defined. If you have not set up any connections with Thrive Themes products and mailing lists yet, then go to your WP Admin dashboard, go to Thrive dashboard, and scroll down to go to API connections. And right here, you will see that it's very easy to set up API connections with services you use. You go here, you select what you want to connect with, and then depending on what the service is, you usually need something like an API key or something like that. And you can find tutorials on how to do all this on our website. So if you haven't done this yet, you go to again, Thrive Dashboard, API connections, and here you can connect to all of the services mailing list services and things like that you use. So back on our opt-in gate, this is what it looks like. And for now, I will save this and we'll have a look at what it looks like in the quiz itself. So here we've got our quiz. We're gonna start the quiz as usual. We will choose some answers. And then after the last question, we get here. And as you can see, I can now enter an email address or I can click on skip this step. I click on skip this step, it basically lets me get to the results page without opting in. If you want to force the opt-in, if you want to force people to opt in to see your results, you can do this by simply removing this skip this step link. So then when someone gets to this step, they have to opt in to get the results. This, as I'm sure you can imagine, is a fairly aggressive list building tactic, right? You have someone go through a quiz and then you, you lock the results behind this gate. This is fairly aggressive. This will probably piss some people off, but it can also be very effective in gathering emails. Now, this is one of the options you have. The softer option is to have this skip this step link, and you can also have your opt-in on the results page itself. And there is a separate video that explains how to do that. So make sure that you're aware of the different options you have for list building with Thrive Quiz Builder so you can choose the one that suits your business and your purpose best. Now, just like with the splash page and the results page, we can test different opt-in gates and it works the same. You can either click here or clone to create a new variation. You can then again edit this to make design changes. So you might wanna change the fields you have, the button text, the text on the opt-in gate, whatever you wanna test. And then you can click on start AB test, test these against each other, and it will automatically look for which one of these leads to the higher opt-in rate, right? Obviously, if you manage to make a version that maybe uses text and images and things that entices more people to opt in on the opt-in gate, then that is better and that will be declared the winning solution. 